kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and guess what? We're gonna do a little math together. I bet that wasn't probably something that was very hard to guess, though, because we are always doing math together. All right, so we are going to check out a subtraction number talk today. It's the first one of the school year, so it's gonna be fun, I think. All right, so the first question I'm gonna ask you is this. 15 minus nine. And remember, everybody should be pausing to stop to think. And then you can show, like, I have one way, I have two ways, I have three ways, just like we did in first grade, right? So those same strategies just apply right here to second grade as well. All right, so go ahead and hit pause and think about how you would solve 15 minus 9. Okay, did you hit unpause? Did I wait long enough? Because I bet some of you didn't pause. You're supposed to pause, though. All right, so 15 minus 9. All right, so maybe some of you envisioned 15 in your mind. I bet there are some of you that used tools in your head. Did anybody do that? Okay, so I did. I know that if I have a 10 and a 5 more, that that makes 15, right? So I had this in my mind. Did anybody else do that? Okay, so 15 and um, minus 9 would look something like 15 minus, well, we know that's 5, so minus 5, minus 6, 7, 8, and that's the ninth one I'm taking off. So my answer would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So maybe we could draw that out to show our thinking, right? Okay, so let's do that. So we had, well, I'm getting too many tools in my hands. All right, 15. Let's see. I'm gonna try to make a I'm gonna try to make a nice organized ten rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I actually did it. Looks pretty good. Okay, so that was my ten. And I'm gonna make five to match. Okay. Now I know that some of you probably envision taking off all of these, so minusing the five, and then taking off six, seven, eight, nine. So these were the ones that were left, and that makes six. So maybe you did that. Um, maybe you actually thought about breaking up the nine like this, kind of like what we did here, but breaking it into a five, because 15 minus 5 is 10, and then minus 4 more, 10 minus 4 is 6. You may have thought about it like that. I don't know. How about on the 120 chart? Did anyone use that? So maybe you did. You started at 15. And oh, ooh, I have a guess. Some of you probably knew that if you hopped back one whole row, that you would be taking off 10. But did we have to take off 10? We had to take off nine. So maybe you hopped back one whole row and then just went one less than that. So then we would have taken off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would be our answer right there if we took off nine. All right, so maybe you thought about it on a number line as well. 15 minus nine. You could hop back little ones. <laughs> or maybe you even said, okay, well, I know what minus 10 is. 15 minus 10 is five. And then I didn't have to take off 10. I only had to take off how many? Tell me, nine. Okay, so maybe you're like, well, I could just take off nine. Oops, put that in the wrong spot. I'm taking off nine up here. Okay, so then I would just have to add the one back on, and that would make six. If that made no sense to your brain, let it go, because we have to find strategies that are good for our brains, right? I'm just guessing. So maybe somebody's brain like this, maybe somebody's brain like that, maybe somebody's brain was like, oh, I don't like that, or maybe somebody's brain said, I love it. 
give me more. Who knows? But don't get stressed out. Make sure you find one that's good for you. Okay, here we go. We're talking about some stuff today. And the fun stuff that we get to talk about is all about water balloon fights, which who doesn't love a good water balloon fight? I'm, I know when I was a kid, I always beat my brother. We'll see if he has the same story. Do you think he also thinks that I always beat him? Probably not. All right, so we are talking about a water balloon fight today, and we're gonna imagine in our minds, Asher had hmm, water balloons. He threw hmm at Niall. All right, can you imagine it? You have a big tub of water balloons. Then you start chucking them at your friends. How many water balloons does Asher have left? So how many does he still have in his bucket after he threw some at Niall? All right, you guys ready to see your story? Wait, you've seen your story. Are you ready to see your numbers? Okay, here we go. You have four sets of numbers to choose from. Here's the deal. Just like picking a just right book, you've got to pick just right numbers. If it's too easy, there's no brain stretching and growing. If it's too hard, your strategy is going to stink. You got to pick the one that feels like you got a good strategy and it's just right. Okay, so Asher had, I'm going to choose this one, 18 water balloons. He threw nine at Nile. How many water balloons does Asher have left? Okay, it's up to you. You got to go figure it out now. Is anybody having a water balloon fight this weekend? Kind of sounds nice. Can you send me the invite if you have a water balloon fight? I'm pretty good. It might be. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.